Welcome back adventurers. I'm an adventurer like you and I'm playing Crusader Kings 3. This is the second stream in the, my grand run to the end of an era. We are playing from the very early start date that's possible in the game 867 until the very end of 1453. It will take a while but uh, we're having fun and that's the most important thing. So last time we had um, Count Jakob, who then became a duke, and uh, we played until the year 900, when Jakob died, and his son Konrad has become the new duke of Holland. This is what the map looks like at the moment, and we are in a war. Uh, to defend our ally. So this is one of our father's allies that, um, yeah, called him into war and we're still at the end of that, well, in the middle of that war. Except the attackers, Iceland, have come to us and they're stronger than we are. And we've just lost all our allies. So that's a problem that we will need to tackle immediately. And um, yeah, then see what we can do this time. So uh, we have the Yardom of Island. Only good Gardarsson is attacking us. Uh, and the other army is his ally. Oh, from Feria. Okay. From up there. So this is our father's ally, the Ormond, that asked us to help. But yeah, they're not our personal allies anymore we don't have any so yeah like i said that's something we definitely need to do something about we have three children so we can uh, make some alliances that will be helpful um but before we do that actually i should set my lifestyle focus so since uh, kunat is good at stewardship and money is always important. I think we should continue doing that. Although, yeah, so we've got two perks in here already. That is good. But I'm thinking actually we might want this perk and a scientific one. Or we might even want Groom to Rule and Befriend. Maybe even uh, Inspiring Rule. Uh, how is our wife? Yeah, she's a good diplomat and she's good at learning. So there are some possibilities there. We have a good steward. We could get a better marshal. Why is... Oh, because our uncle, who was a marshal, he died, obviously. And right now we don't have anyone that is better. We do have this guy, Count Damiano of Brugge, who is being a pain in the ass because he's part of this faction that wants to reinstall Sophia on the Hollander throne. That's a bit of a problem. I wouldn't mind him becoming the bishop actually because the bishop we currently have is absolutely useless. But that's not how it works. 
is it? Yeah. But I think with uh, after we make some alliances, she is from Wessex. Why don't we have an alliance with Wessex? Anyway, after we make some alliances, we shouldn't be afraid of these two. Um, they are our vassals. They are also upset because they are not on my council. Yeah, I think I need to invite someone to my court to become a better marshal. How we're doing with knights? It's okay. We have. Our top three is decent. Yeah, he's actually a somewhat decent knight. And then there is our brother. Our brother is pretty weak also. He does have a good child. He's actually a brother from the same mother, like her, Berthild. Where are you? You're at my court. Okay, Uncle Forbert is better, but he's aging. So if you stay at my court, I can employ you. Yeah. How bad is he? He does have decent uh, education. He's just not very good. He started from zero and he's lazy. Okay. We don't have a court physician right now, so I'm gonna make him, for now, my court physician. So he can get better. And use his uh, remaining time to study. Don't be lazy. In the class. Um, yeah, we also have our mother. 53 years old. Yeah, she would make a good physician. A much better one, in fact. But I'm gonna keep the bishop for a little while, at least. Because now he likes us, which is a good thing. He endorses us. Um, yeah. We want to do some diplomacy, I think. As a, a fresh duke, that is something we need to focus on. Um, we're not good at Marshall anyway, so I think we should do diplomacy for a few years and then maybe switch back to stewardship or go to learning. So, what shall we do? Foreign affairs, majesty focus to get prestige, or family focus to also have some extra fertility. We don't really need that. We already have three children. We're doing good. Um, so, how important is a prestige? We don't have too much of it. We do gain 2.2. Per month. Helped by our arrogance and impatience. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. We do also need money. Our income is very little. Our income is very little. But I really want room to rule, befriend. Those are good things to have. So let's do this. Majesty focus for five years and then we can switch to stewardship. Okay, 
faction. Yes, we're aware. We will lose land when uh, Count Damiano of Brugge dies. Yeah, he's already 50 years old. His health is fine. He has a medicine focus. He has no children. That's the problem. So his county will default to his liege, which is the Queen of Italy, who gave us this vassal in the first place. So we're not really upset about losing that. Although it would be good if we could keep it. He does have a young wife, so there is still hope for an heir in his house, right? He doesn't like me. That is a problem. And I think we will start swaying him. We have a good chance. Yeah. Okay. Then... Low County Control in Holland. You, my dear, yeah, you don't like me very much either. And my uncle doesn't like me. Oh, he's a title claimant and I have short reign. Okay. Uh, increase control in Holland. Why did it say Holland and not Antwerpen? Okay, so... Low county control in Holland. Yeah, you say I can assign one, but I can't. Ah, uh, because uh, we're currently under occupation. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, control is 60. Uh, we don't want to take this back, but if they come, they will... They will beat us. So that's not a very good idea. One thing we can try is to go to Iceland, attack their capital, and see if we can lure them away from Holland. Because our ally, well, he's not really our ally anymore, they are just going back home, leaving us with, um, as we see in Dutch, the baked pears. <clears throat> and we can't just say goodbye to this, right? I can't do for white peace because I'm not no war leader. Can I get out of this alliance? That's my question. He's a drunkard and a recluse. He's my uncle. Ah, because, yeah, my mother is his sister. But don't you need to go and get Ormond? Because that's your war goal, which you defend controls war target, yeah. That's what you need to get. You're losing this. Um I think I'm just gonna disband. Can't be disbanded. Okay, if we can't be disbanded, how much would it cost to go to Iceland? Where is their capital here? It would cost us what? Eight gold. That's not too bad. Let's go. Oh wait. 
I have something else I need to do. I need to get my children a betrothed. Imanov, my heir. Uh, we're going for alliance power and see Princess Ada of Lotharingia. That is very nice. Very nice. That's very strong, right? They are 1500, yes. <laughs> so definitely that's one we want to get. Hopefully she'll get some good traits as well. Though we can always break the betrothal if it no longer suits us. But let's do that. Then uh, we have a uh, genius daughter. A genius daughter. And this is the Kingdom of Alba. Up in Scotland. Yeah, I think we go for the oldest one. No, not for the Serene Doge of Venice. He's 53. He won't survive, most likely, uh, until she becomes uh, of age. So, this guy, that, that is pretty good. 3,000 soldiers. Nice. And uh, little Herand. You're only one years old, but... This girl. Yeah, she's decent, but she's so much older. Uh, Alliance power. We have Croatia. Mm. This a band, like um, a band of mercenaries. That's the word I was looking for. And then we have the Duchy of Anjou, and they were our allies before, right? So I think. Jean here, she looks nice. I think Jean should be the one to go for. Although the other girl, Mascarose, no, she doesn't have anything really special. No, so let's take the one that's closer in age. Good. Um, let's go. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. And we have an alliance with the Duke of Anjou. Excellent. Another one. Queen Adelaide of Lotharingia accepts our betrothal proposition. We have an alliance with her. And your daughter Duida will be betrothed to my son Diglach in the King of Alba. Another alliance. So now we have a very strong alliances. We should be fine if we need to defend ourselves. Somebody left my prison. My cousin was released. My cousin. This is my cousin. How are you my cousin with that name? <laughs> Ah, my mother's sister, my aunt, is your mother. Okay, I see. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Um, actually, I wanted to have a look at our house. House the Wolf. Liberty is truth. That's pretty good, actually, as far as uh, these things go. I'm not going to change that. Okay, so we have um, Count Alwyn, who started the dynasty, right? And all his children, and Duke Jacob, our father, was the first, and most of the others died, except Geralt. Okay, and none of them have children except for this one. Geralt, yeah, his wife is old, no children, there's nothing coming from there. 
He would make a good physician, a decent steward, although we have a good one. He's 75, he won't live much longer. Ivo, my cousin, he is a genius, but he's already got lover's pox. That's not good. And why is he in Gowry? Yeah, he is a genius, though, so... Invite to court? He will accept. We could get him married. Hopefully he wouldn't pass on the lover's pox. And then we may have some more geniuses in our dynasty. Let's do that. Yeah, Fulbert, no children either. He is a genius. He's also a murderer. Who did you murder? Your brother. No, not your brother. Just somebody. Just somebody. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you, like, let go of her and marry a younger wife and make some babies? We need geniuses in our line. Oh well, it's not gonna happen, is it? Not gonna happen. Okay, maybe with Evo. He is a genius, that's good. Unfortunately, he got himself lower spokes. Not good. So right now we have how many people? 12 in our dynasty. Twelve in our dynasty, and the oldest is Swanahild. She has no guardian. Diplomacy. Yeah, she's good at that. Look at that. Eighteen. Okay, let's get you a tutor who is good at diplomacy, like my brother-in-law, Justinianos Chlierinos. Oh, he's Greek. Yeah, he's my brother-in-law and my friend. And he's your dad. Why is your dad not... He's at my court. He's a good... Yeah. Okay. Overt culture and faith of her? No, 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 no. Okay, that's one. Then there is Regenwald here, who is also of age to be educated. Uh, he's going for Marshall. You're much better at intrigue, my dear. You're much better at intrigue. Let's get you an intrigue education. Who's good at that? Of course, my uncle Fulbert. And... Yeah, Irminov, he should also be getting an education. It's a bit early, but better early than late. Um, he's good. He has like bonuses for martial and intrigue. He's also best at intrigue. Okay, let's go for intrigue. Hopefully your uh, uncle will live a little while longer. Although, she has four star and he has only one, though he's a genius, yeah. No, go with Berthold. Duida is only two and Ida is only two. Okay, let's keep an eye on that. Let's try and keep an eye on that. Um, so we can educate her. She is intelligent. And beautiful. And fecund. So definitely someone to... 
and I keep an eye on. She's going to play a role in the life of our dynasty. Okay. Um. Yep. Nito is now at my court. We said we would find him a spouse, right? We want someone. Let's sort by inheritable traits. Maximum age. And probably age difference five. That would do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mudra is pretty. Apparently, Alexander. Okay, uh, what does he have? He has intelligence, right? he's a genius. So that's what we should focus on to strengthen Vishamira. Okay, um, yeah, nice black black, and that's all of it. Six of them are eligible. And willing. That's very nice. Okay, so I think Epoxia, she's pretty and has a mastermind philosopher education. Or Vishmira, who is a quick, but doesn't have a very good education. He's also lazy and vengeful. Yeah, I think Epoxia is the best choice here. Let's see where our army is. Where is our army? We just embarked, right? Your cousin, even my queen's after she will be joining holy matrimony. Great. Where did our ships go? Oh, there they are. Yeah. And. There we go. Hugo has died. So our alliance with Anjou is now gone. That is tragic. That is tragic. And Anjou is now held by him. Okay. Well, well, she's the primary heir. Okay, I think we might need to do some rearranging then. And get her with him instead of that. But that is really strong though. Yeah. So this is no longer relevant. How much does it mean they lose 30 opinion of us? Why is it not an alliance when her brother is now the Duke? Okay. Uh, we're doing good here, right? We're doing good here, okay. Here we lost that as well. We're still making progress on this war. There are raiders, and apparently they have left. Okay, Councillor Wieger died, and... Oh, he was slain. Why were you in the army? You were my steward. You're not supposed to be in the army. Well, that was a mistake. Okay. 
Um, oh, I have my cousin Evo who could do that. Yeah, or I could put Countess Sophia on there. That would make her slightly happier, but... Or I could put him, but he's on 12. But I am trying to sway him, right? Let's assign him for now. That makes him a lot happier. And where did um, the Icelandic armies go? Okay, ruling the multicultural Duchy of Holland seems uh, comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak their native tongue in court, breeding resentment. My steward, Count Damiano, suggests that I could significantly improve relations with my Cisalpine subjects. Do I have any Cisalpine subjects? By learning to speak their language. Well, time to hit the books. I think so. Yeah, or he is Cisalpine. Yeah, he is Cisalpine. Okay. Hey, a tutor to instruct me. Why, Father Dutch is clearly superior. Um, well, there's something to be said for all those options. So what shall we do? Uh, this gain prestige. Here I have better chance of doing so and that is time to hit the books. I don't really want to lose 50 gold though. This would lead to more stress, possibly. Uh. This is no stress. I don't lose anything here except I don't gain his opinion. How good are we at learning? We're pretty decent. Yeah, what would he do? He's arrogant, right? He's arrogant, impatient. Yeah, I don't think he ended well at the beginning of the 10th century that he would bother with learning Cisalpine. No, Dutch is clearly superior. That's what I think he would choose. Sorry, yeah, you still don't like me, but. I have more important matters to devote my time to. Okay, so we lost at Austria. Ah, so they came and beat our asses. Yeah, we didn't see that coming because we weren't looking there. Okay, so I think we should just go back home. Oh, we're going there. And sieging this place. Are they gonna come back? We're gonna lose a lot of soldiers, right? Uh, also, I need to make sure nobody important, like my steward, is in that army. My marshal can be, that's okay. All right. Um, yeah, 
I do need to invite some knights, don't I? Do I have any unmarried uh, women in my court? I do, but they're old. Okay, Mariana, can we get you anybody? No, reset to defaults. They don't need to be fertile. They just need to be adults. And have high prowess. Oh, he's already our knight. Bermudo. Oh, he looks good. Yeah. Why don't you get Bermudo? Then we have Judith. Wow. Diplomacy really high. Uh, find you a spouse. Um, how about Enric? He's a spy master somewhere. Oh, shh. I didn't do Matrilineal the last time, did I? So she's going to disappear. Oh, damn it. Um, Enrique. Enrico. Isn't that... No, that's not the guy we just looked at. Bermudo was... Yeah. You won't go to me. Um, so there is Enrico, there is this guy, Elfin, yeah, no, I need to sort my prowess. This Enrico, 16, and Elfin, 15, but he's much older. Rauf is brave, though, but so is Enrico. Enric, you come aboard. Matrilineal, yes. And finally, we have um, our mother. Mother, would you uh, wish to marry again? With, well, someone with high prowess. But who is also, yeah, how's Dandaro? Lanfranco Dandaro. 29, my goodness. Francesco di Castiglione. Hmm. That's also pretty decent. Focus. You're only 18, but you're strong. Yeah, if it's also somebody who is high in martial skills, we could use somebody, right? Or high in this. Mm. He's a drunkard, though. Ah, this guy is somewhat decent. I guess, Mother, you're the one who's going to learn Cisalpine language. Matrilineal marriage, of course, there will be no children, but the point is that you're coming to our court. Okay. That's something. Um, I think, can we now disband? We can't. It's gonna take eight months. It's gonna come and beat our asses again, probably. All right, and another one. 
And another one who is in Aquitaine, yeah, okay. That was not my intention. Wait, no. Whatever. Yeah, they're coming. Okay, you guys go here. And then go here. Yeah. Embark. Oh no, they're gonna slaughter us first. Okay, yeah, that was to be expected. Got Damiano Suede, he likes us now. Ally joins war. Okay, so now we have more. And uh, yeah, why are they? No, we just want to go home. We just want to go home. Let's go home. No. We can't. I mean, whatever. Let's just pretend we're doing uh, distraction tactics. Oh, we're in another. My goodness. Epoxia has given birth to a daughter. Great. And you haven't got um, lover's pokes and Peternella neither. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm just not very um, happy with the name there. So, where do I have my name list again? taken prisoner okay um, yeah I really just want to disband or go home if you don't mind no don't go there again you idiots come home Yeah, see, they're annihilating us. Your culture has discovered fascination mods. A new fascination can be selected. Uh, this is culture. So we got now the uh, fortification buildings, tribal era fortification buildings. Aren't we in the feudal era? Oh, we haven't discovered enough of these. Okay, so what can we do? City planning, um, crop rotation, we know crop rotation. Okay, so it's Casus Belly, city planning, plenary assemblies. Okay, let's do this one. That should be yeah, discovered pretty soon. And then we'll need one more before we can switch to the medieval ones. No? 10 is enough. Okay, so let's get this one and then we can switch to early medieval ones like births, manorialism. Yeah, 